Howdy, howdy, my beautiful Aquarius. How you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, Haney, I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Aquarius, for October 2021. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading today, remember that it does not matter what you identify as he, she, they, them, anything inside that spectrum or outside of it, because that's they're going to resonate with you. They're going to resonate, honey. But uh, if they do, let me know in the comments below how they resonate with you, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, Aquarius, as well. If you enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe Aquarius I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I would appreciate it when you do that extra step to support me in that way remember as well Aquarius put this in perspective I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you darling you know your situation better than I ever possibly could Aquarius so take the cards that resonate leave what doesn't uh, I'm never going to be offended by it whatsoever I believe tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought a perspective to consider but never making the choices in your life so uh all that being said Aquarius let's just jump into your weekly tarot horoscope reading darling let's see what's up with y'all uh but first and foremost Aquarius you already know we have to do a little bit of a vibe check darling check your tarot forecast for this week see how you're going to be feeling this week see what's going to be in girl this fuzz is bothering me <laughs> y'all probably going to see it but see what's going to be going on for y'all Aquarius what is this? I don't have my glasses. I think it's the Justice card. I am. It is the Justice card, darling. The Libra card, darling. So if you can't read the bottom of this Aquarius, I'll read it. It says understanding and karmic balance, darling. That's why you see that yin and yang, darling. That's why it's the Libra card as well, because the Libra is all about that balance, honey. Uh, so Aquarius, it's funny how all this air signs has strong uh, Libra coming in for them. So uh, regardless, I guess it could just be because it's Libra season. So getting back to the point, Aquarius, I apologize. So this is really a time of like, I feel like I might even, uh, I just heard this. Yeah, I'm going to even name your tarot reading this week as Karmic Justice Aquarius, because that's what really that justice card would represent for the, for a weekly portion is that something coming into karmic justice so this is where you ask yourself the question uh aquarius what has it, what have you been putting out into the universe right maybe if you've been working hard on something and you haven't been receiving the payout that you were kind of anticipating uh maybe uh this is going to be a sign of where you're going to start receiving the fruits of those labors darling uh, maybe someone did some wrongdoing to you because i did have the five of wands coming out uh for you aquarius uh, maybe some type of obstacle some t someone that did some wrongdoing towards you they're going to be getting there is darling so let's continue on i always like to do threes queen of cups as well aquarius and then we have the <laughs> my voice crack <laughs> we have the five of pentacles for you aquarius so Mm, I'm going to be honest, it does give me the sensation of where something that's close and personal to your life, something that you would take personally, I would say about 80% of you guys, Aquarius, this is going to be resonating more so with some type of social situation in your life. There's some type of situation, though, that has you kind of feeling like, ugh, you know, as if you don't belong, could even be at the workplace where you're just like working, and you're just like, man, I don't really click with anybody here, or like you're working, and you're just like your heart's not into it, you're feeling extremely unfulfilled. I feel as if, you know, the five of wands is a card of conflict as well, um, especially when it comes to a social situation. It's just very much so like arguing, fighting, um, just in general obstacles. And so giving me this sense Aquarius where it's just like the karmic justice happening is whatever this is happening like what is whatever is going on here you feel like right now pretty uh pretty down low down in the dumps about it because it's just like that sense of where <sighs> You know, maybe you're some of you guys are asking yourself the question, Aquarius, where it's just like, is it me? Is it me? Am I the drama, darling? <laughs> Am I the issue, darling? You're not the issue, darling. Uh, let's get some clarifiers, Aquarius. See what's what we can get. We have the Six of Pentacles coming in here on the Five of Wands. I have some thoughts already. And the Moon card coming in here. Ooh, Aquarius. And then we have. We have the two of wands coming in for your five of pentacles. So admittedly, it does feel as if someone's coming in out of left field for you, Aquarius, where you're just like, why are you acting this way? Um, or it's like, even in your job, maybe you were happy at your job, but then something just kind of like happens where you're just like, wait a minute, like, I thought we were cool. I thought like this job was going to be it, darling. So I feel as if this is work related, um, some type of like, boulder was just like dropped if that makes sense the boulder being like a metaphor for um just some type of distress coming going on here 
like i feel like this does catch you off guard because you were associating this two of wands like you were associating this as your future that's why the two of wands if you can even see in the artwork with that holograph uh you were associating this with your future that's why the two of wands holds and uh the globe like you're gonna travel the world with them and just go the whole mile with them and they're always looking off into the distance that's a common artwork uh theme that will always go with the two of wands is like looking off into the distance with them because you just saw this in the long tall right but whatever this moon card is it's like i don't feel like you saw this coming uh because you cared about it so much like this is like you allow this in your inner circle and six of pentacles here i want to know a little bit more about that six of pentacles why it came two of swords all right so it's giving me very much so aquarius like <sighs> It's like, almost like as an ultimatum is thrown at you, whether it's like the ultimatum where it's just like someone's actions or something happening through that metaphorical boulder that was placed into the situation happening that you're just like, oh man, now I, you like, you have to handle this and uh, it just feels as if you don't know where the right direction is with it. But, you know, keep remembering though, Aquarius, that with this justice card, karmic justice is definitely going to be happening and definitely in your favor. All right. So uh, now let's see what you don't see coming towards you, darling. Four of Cups. I'm laughing just because it's like we kind of like tap into that with that moon card. Devil card coming in. Oh, Aquarius. And then the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel as if something kind of like pushes you out, uh, Aquarius, where you're just like <sighs> some type of disappointment happened, right? The Four of Cups, you look at this artwork where you're just like really disappointed and being like, man, I really wanted this to work out in this way, right? And it's kind of hard for you to see the bright side of things or seeing that silver lining in this devil situation. Now, the devil card kind of shares the similarity with that five of wands admittedly of where it's just like i get, i do get this feeling like someone kind of did some type of wrongdoing to you aquarius um something is just doing a disservice to you not honoring your energy knight of pentacles here now with this knight of pentacles it's kind of just like forcing you out of your comfort zone and i feel like that's kind of like the main purpose here aquarius as to why this is all happening is like you need to get out of your comfort zone right you need to change your perspective because it's like if you look into a new direction you realize that there's a cup right here with the rainbow darling like me out of anybody's gonna appreciate that rainbow honey but it's just this sense of where there is trying to like this sense of redirection trying to get you out of your comfort zone and trying because it's it feels like you wouldn't have moved on from this situation unless some type of heaviness happened dealing right so let's get some clarifiers on this we have the strength card coming in on the four of cups oh man aquarius i feel your pain i'm so sorry y'all are going through this right now uh we have here the lovers card oh on that devil card too aquarius mm. And then we have the temperance card coming in here on that knight of pentacles so you're not i'm gonna be honest you know you know aquarius i can't i can't paint sunshines and rainbows unless um i see those sunshines and rainbows like i saw here i feel as if truly like i know this is probably gonna sound obnoxious to most of you guys because you're going through the situation right now it's easier to be like oh think positively and optimism when i'm not the one going through it darling right it's always easy to be like oh yeah look on the bright side when I mean, you're not the one having to be in the thick of it darling um so yeah i do feel as if though there's like the situation here like you're the, i keep hearing redirection uh aquarius i keep hearing redirection and i have to even say um i might have even slipped up in this video but um, but i kept on saying uh gemini uh initially when i first tried to do your recording but then i took that as a sign of being like all right maybe i need to just like reset take a moment but now with this lover's card coming in here you could be dealing with a gemini and <laughs> y'all i'm not about villainizing any type of zodiac sign but you know this just kind of makes me giggle in a sense of where it's just like like gemini's get, are like the zodiac sign that get the brunt of it where there's just like everyone kind of villainizes the gemini and so could be dealing with a gemini or someone that has strong gemini in their chart but it's just like having the lover's gemini card with the devil card i'm just like Ugh. <laughs> so it kind of it amuses me that way just go along with it but you know with this temperance card here this is like the the thing that it's kind of the commonality with the knight of pentacles and this temperance is like the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight out of all of them where you need to exude the most patience with this right and so the temperance card also represents patience and then also i want to point out to gemini there key, keeps on being this sense of no i just called you gemini now uh there is this sense now aquarius where there's this theme here where it's just like half and half or just like one side and another side you know the justice card 
the yin and yang. You have the temperance card where it's one foot in the water, one foot out of the water. It's always like this consistent theme of balance. Lover's card, half and half, right? Didn't we even get... Um, I feel like we had uh, something else here as well. Maybe not. No, yeah, even with this Two of Swords. See, I'm not crazy here, Aquarius. You have the Two of Swords. It's just like very much so giving me this sense of like fork in the road, path, that you, like something just splitting off. Like, I don't know. It's just like this half and half. I don't know. There's something I'm just noticing, Aquarius, with this. So it does feel as if like there's a side that you have to choose and something that you have to commit to. But I feel like for many of you guys, Aquarius, it kind of spooks you out just because it's like, I don't feel as if you're like it feels like your life is drastically changing because of this uh devil and this lover's card coming in here right and it's just like because you were really associating that like you didn't like again like you were associating this for your future in the long term and now it kind of just seems like it's gone up to shambles uh so ugh, what a bummer though aquarius mm. Anyways, darling, <laughs> let's get into the good things that are in the works for you, Aquarius. Enough of all that heaviness. And darling, come on now, we have the best card in the deck coming in for you. The Sun card, darling. And then the High Priestess, Major Arcanta, made after Major Arcanta. Come on now. One last one. Five of Cups again. So... <laughs> Aquarius like I'm gonna be honest here like I know and I know I know I know how obnoxious this message is gonna be right because it's just like if someone was telling me this message while I was going through all my issues darling like I'd be like girl bye I don't need to hear it right now some of you guys probably even clicking off being like girl bye but I really do see like you're kind of being forced out of your comfort zone you're needing to like something needed to happen high priestess here too I feel as if it's like I feel like even deep down you could even acknowledge this Aquarius that this no longer was serving you at any point like anymore or that you know there was like you kind of outgrown the situation or there's just like better horizons like you could deserve better that you deserve better not could deserve better um so that's the sense that i'm getting with this aquarius um so it's just like admittedly it's like oh, i acknowledge like how obnoxious the message sounds um truly i feel like this was meant for you so it's like it gives this sense of where it's just like a purposeful pain rather than it just being pain just to like bring you pain aquarius right kind of lessens the blow a little bit at least it does for me uh page of cups clarifying the sun card powerful it's powerful because the page of cups by definition represents new opportunities and new people coming into your life uh aquarius so i wouldn't be surprised if you have new, like whatever that devil is darling especially if it's a gemini honey um it's going to be replaced with better people fool <laughs> <laughs> the fool card coming in uh aquarius uh on that high priestess so you kind of were anticipating this new chapter coming in for you you knew that you this time for a new uh new journey darling and then the seven of wands on the five of cups could be more than one person it could be like a whole group dynamic that you're transitioning on from as well uh aquarius it does lead me to believe where it's just like as even though that you didn't want this to happen aquarius now you're kind of being left to have to make the decisions to like you might even come off as like the bad guy or like people are just like oh you're gonna act in this way like i don't know it's like that we i don't like this <laughs> i don't like this message but i have to say it but it's just like you have to do what's best for you but then some for some reason they're just like oh so you're just gonna walk away from this you're gonna just like leave this i thought you cared about this da 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 and you're just like you know what darling yes i am a walking away from this dubai like bye felicia so uh interesting cards uh, overall aquarius let's feed these cards to ms barbara walters and honestly you need some barbara walters to get on this case darling see what else needs to be revealed in this honey but um <laughs> and give these cards to miss aretha franklin darling come on take him and now we're going to be getting into your spirit guide and ancestral tarot messages for this week aquarius with the ten of pentacles Mm. ten of cups okay <laughs> it's good by the way um and then the hanged man now i'm gonna have to give a two-part message to this tens represents closures to cycles aquarius and so when you have two different tens here definitely some type of closures definitely really emphasizing the sense of something close in your life that had to come to an end that you weren't really happy about um could be even like i keep on saying it's like close to you because it's like both of these cards can i can i grab them honey apparently i can't <laughs> both of these cards aquarius 
have like the same message of where it's just like family being in the artwork and all that um again it even could be like a job thing because it, it does feel as if it was providing to you at one sense and hanged man's like something kind of giving a change of perception uh perspective with this like something changing up due to that closure um but the other side of this message as well aquarius is that um you know through this hanged man moment uh many people don't point this out but it's like the hanged man you only can see the sun which we pulled for you darling right the only way this individual sees the sun is through a change of perspective otherwise you would not have seen this right so again i keep on feeling it's kind of giving me the sense now where it's just like spirit is kind of directly responsible for this aquarius i'm not picking my nose i'm moving my nose ring <laughs> my nose ring um sometimes it'll get like stuck in my nose and i need to like pull it out <laughs> maybe tmi but girl move on <laughs> ten of swords coming in on the ten of pentacles yeah oh aquarius i well i can acknowledge like all the happiness that this is meant for you and the redirection that this is going to give that brings so much happiness like man man oh man i acknowledge just how painful it must be for you right now man we have the four of pentacles on the ten of cups and then the nine of cups on the hanged man. So yeah, it does feel as if you're just shifting in terms of like where you're investing your energies into. Um, your priorities are shifting definitely through all this happening, darling. But, you know, with that hanged man, as I was saying beforehand, the nine of cups does represent Aquarius um, by definition. Look it up if you don't believe me, honey. Um, by definition is a wish fulfillment. So you, while right now it's not going to make sense, later down the road it is. Um, so it's something that you have been desiring maybe if your desire was to have like a fulfilling love life darling and then the situation that you're in brought forth that disappointment and you're just like oh man i thought i was going to be in a relationship i thought this was the one da, 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 da. actually no this wasn't the one and the person coming towards you in the future is actually the thing that you wanted this whole entire time. It just is in different details that you were anticipating. Does that make sense, Aquarius? So enough of that, darling. Uh, Aquarius, let's get into how people are perceiving you at this time. See what's going on there and their intentions. King of Pentacles. Nine of Wands as well as the five of swords i'm gonna be honest here aquarius i do feel as if this is like we're honing in on the person that brought forth that disappointment with that king of pentacles this is really giving me again this emphasis on home life um and nine of cups here yeah it's almost as if like you guys thought like you guys either committed to one another maybe you guys thought you guys were each other's like other halves or what have you and i feel as if now it's just one of those situations where they're acknowledging that you have to go out on your own now but it does bother them with that five of swords it's on their head maybe they are like beating themselves up over the mistake that they did if there was a mistake that happened here darling but um obviously i'm gonna tell like I have to be honest here, Aquarius, right? And this is where my own projections might be coming in here, darling. Um, free will and all that. So make the de whatever deci decision you end up making in this situation, Aquarius. I'm always going to support you regardless, darling. But um i feel like this is there's a direct message here where you need to go on move on darling right um because of the what we were saying beforehand where it's just like i feel like you needed to get out of this comfort zone some of you guys and it's okay darling if you end up going back to this situation for a while because i do see that they acknowledge they messed up i don't see necessarily malevolent energy here i feel as if they just have their own issues aquarius that they need to work through and it's just like at some point you're gonna just be pushed to the point where you can't deal with their issues anymore because you all got issues darling right so um some of you guys may end up going back and forth with this person but i do kind of get the sense that eventually you're going to be pushed to the point where you do move on to a whole new situation um but you know you know your situation better you know if you do choose to go back into the situation uh for whatever the case might be aquarius i do see that you could definitely learn some more stuff from this right um but just know that there is definitely better things off in the future for you so if you are making this decision of being back with them just because the future seems so unpromising and you don't want to uh you're afraid of like walking away from this situation because you're afraid of nothing better coming along it's not the case sterling so um that's all i have to say on this i have to be honest aquarius right i don't want to just tell you just like no you need to move on from this person because that's just like dismissal of your own emotions and your experiences that you might have had with this person so um yeah i'm always going to support you regardless of whatever decision you end up making aquarius 
I love you so much. And I hopefully this reading brought you some, for some clarity on like where you need to be going next. If you did enjoy this tarot reading today, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Also Aquarius, if you want to book a private personal reading with me, my website's always linked down below, simplyvalka.com. Uh, next to my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all that to just being simply Valka, honey. Until next time though, Aquarius, I love you so much.